Okay. I think we got a sea trout. Well, sands up. Oh no. This is a first for me. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Today we are at Bethune Beach and uh, it's looking pretty rough. I have a friend who was catching Pompano here just yesterday. So, um, but I think the conditions might have been a little bit different because the waves are ripping. I was hoping to bring the Go Fish Camp somewhere where there was clean water, calm. This is supposed to be just two to three foot waves, but it looks bigger than, I mean, not bigger, but the current looks like it's pulling a lot. So we do have a little trough here in the front and I, I am seeing some activity already in here. Looks like there might be some fish, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get some lines in the water and see what we can catch. I'm setting up this first line with one of our fishing girl float rigs. And I'm picking green because of the water clarity. Um, so to me, the water does not look very clean, in spite of it being clean yesterday. But we'll start out with just fish bites only. I've got salted shrimp with me too, but I don't want to pack out these float, rig float hooks. So I'm just putting a piece of fish bites on. Throw it close. My friend who was here yesterday caught his pompano on an incoming tide. So we've got about an hour until it turns around. We may have hope yet. We'll see. I think this little area is too shallow right here. So I'm gonna toss this out. I think the legs on my Sputnik though were <laughs> We're loose, so we may have to fix that in a minute. I did not pay attention to that very close. Number two going out on the water, we've got our purple fishing girl rig. And I've got blue crab here on the bottom. I've got salted shrimp on both of these, but I've got shrimp fish bites. It's a really thin piece. Look how, this is the very tippy end of it. But um, yeah, either my line's getting pushed by the current or we got something going there. I think it's just the current. Toss this far. Yeah, this sandbar is super, super close. If you're not catching, get busy doing something else and usually that's when something happens. So I'm gonna throw this lure out. I don't know if there's anything out here that'll wanna eat it, but we cast it pretty far. I'm gonna retrieve it fast. If there's any uh, predator fish who like to chase their prey. We'll cast it a few times while we're watching the lines. Uh, almost felt like something tried to bite it there. But maybe I give up too quick with artificial because I've heard people have to like throw a bunch before they actually get a bite on it. To me, this doesn't look like conditions to catch anything on artificial, but who knows? All right, this is probably the last cast because I've got to go check my lines. And my hand's actually getting tired because I'm not used to casting and reeling and casting and reeling and casting and reeling so much. I have to really work up to that to do it all the time. All right, so we had that one bite. That was kind of cool, but I'm gonna put this away for now. Well, I was just checking my line and got this whiting. He was in close there. I didn't even see any action on the line at all. I could not tell that he was even on there. This is a fishing girl, our green float rig with shrimp fish bites. And that's pretty good size. He's barely hooked in the mouth here. You get him off, measure him up. At least we got something, right? He's like, look, just by the skin of his, by the skin of his teeth. Sorry, dude, I ripped your lip a little bit. Okay, let's check this out here. It's 12 inches, it's not too bad, not too shabby. I'm gonna beat that up and throw it back out right close. So we got sea turtle patrol. They said this, this nest had already emerged but what they're doing is they're just flattening things down. So if any other babies emerge from the nest, they're not gonna get caught in the grooves. They're not gonna get caught in any holes or lumps that they'll be able to get to the ocean safely. 
This one's farther out. I want to release the tension from the Sputnik without getting the fish off. So you kind of got to pull gently. And then steadily bringing it in. Not losing any tension. It's coming in like a spot fish. They kind of skate on the top. We'll see what it is when we get it up here, though. And, oh, we got doubles. Catfish and a baby pompano. Well, we got pompano. <laughs> Not quite the size I was looking for. Dude, okay. I would give you a photo shoot with Fishing Girl, but I don't want you to die in the meantime. There you go, buddy. Swim away. Well, we got catfish out far. We got whiting in close. So we might want to stick to close if we keep getting whiting close. Not quite the fish I wanted to catch. I'm going to throw this back out. For those of you who don't know, I do salt my own shrimp. Uh, and I use my leftover shrimp. None of that stuff from Indonesia, like some people use. So, uh gonna throw this out. We had it far. We're gonna get it out as far as we can. That's about where it was last time. Hopefully get better than a catfish and a baby pompano this time. It better not be a catfish again. It's jumping, whatever it is. Skating in on the top. Um, it is, oh my gosh, look at this tiny bonnet head. <laughs> That is the smallest little bonnet head I think I've ever seen. It's actually really cute. All right, buddy, yeah, I'm not gonna keep you. I'm not gonna keep you. So, look at this guy. It's actually really cute, but he's so, I'm almost getting his mouth near my hands because he's just flipping around. Dude. Can you chill a bit? Okay, I got him. Dude, now you're wrapping yourself up. Okay, stop causing trouble. This cat would say, knock it off. Dude, it's in your tongue. All righty. Well, I don't think we're gonna get live here. I'm trying to go live on YouTube. This is why I stopped going live on YouTube because half the time it wasn't working. So little, look at this little guy. Baby shark, do, 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 do. I mean, he's super baby, tiny shark. So little, okay. Go live your best life now. You see him? It's so cool to watch him. He's swimming. He's probably just trying to get his energy back. Whoa, no, don't push him this way. He's right here. out there a bit. Good, he got through the wave. Now he's going down. I'm gonna check this and it's getting hit. I put this on the sandbar on purpose. Right on top of the sandbar. Okay, gentle pressure to release the tension from the sand spike. Feels really light now all of a sudden. Oh, no, it's still there, whatever it is. And another catfish. Whew, this is dirty, dirty water. I'm, yeah, it feels like there's something on here, so it's probably another shark or catfish. Uh, another catfish, yep. Of course. And the bait's completely gone. I mean, stuff's eating it. This is really not what I was going for today. Maybe, maybe not. I think I drew it close, closer. We're back out on the sandbar, I don't know. Um, okay. I think we got a sea trout. Little sands, whoop. 
Oh no. This is a first for me. This is a glass nose. I just saw somebody put a picture of this. Sweet! Okay, this made my day. Changing my mind about his fishing day. Dude. Okay, I almost stepped on you. Okay, so I know this is called a glass nose because you look at this. Completely clear. Their nose area. That's so cool. Alrighty, I gotta look at the regulations on that. See if it's something I'm allowed to keep or not. Glass nose whiting, Florida glass nose. I'm just trying to find out. Atlantic thread thin, is this the thread thin? It is. Atlantic thread thin. So yeah, that's what I, did not have the right name. Atlantic Thread Thin. People call it a glass nose or glass nose whiting. Oh, that's surf line. Ah, fish rolls. Okay, so let's look up the right name here. All right. This is a rare catch. Whoop, oh, and we got a line going off. So I'm gonna leave him alone for a minute. And this is going, this is going off. All right, we got a palmetta. Okay. Oh, geez, I'm showing you my legs. All right, hey buddy. He's kind of small though. I'll probably throw him back. Ouch. Ooh, look at that. He caught me. I'm putting my glove on. Hook is really set really well in his throat. Ouch. Okay, guy. Might have to use my pliers. There we go. I know that it's a palometta because of how long those fins are. And the grill marks, as my friend Mike Cook calls them, he's got grill marks. You made me bleed, buddy. All right, well, I got two lines out of the water. I gotta get him back in. Uh, Where at? In Lahaina, on Maui. Oh, wow. Yeah, but I'm from Lahaina, so everything oh, hurts. So why? I, I, I can't give him two lines. Wow. Uh, so you live, you, I, did I'm, your? I live in Lahaina, no. Did your, did your house get burned? No, my, I am lucky my condo did burn, but wow. everything around it. And now we have like a board problem and a high school. Wow. So have they told you guys like how how long to stay away or are you just well, kind of well, deciding I'm, I'm to be gone? I'm My friends, I, I have my friends, they, they lost the house and uh, they oh, have wow. a, a little son, he's, he's four years old. Wow. So, so I, I give them my condo so they can stay in it. Wow, that's, yeah. that's so nice of you to do yeah. that. Because I'm lucky I have friends here so they get yeah. here in Colorado at the moment and uh, wow. they only come back in October so I can stay here. Oh, like that's so good. That's yeah. so nice. Man. Yeah, it's really bad. And, and there's so many people, they they don't, they're don't looking for people and they don't even know who's there. They only, oh, wow. uh, it's like 150 uh, people, but there's still 1,000 people missing. Wow. And uh, they only identified like around 20 because it's so difficult to see how many people. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, when they're charged. So they're giving out the names and I'm looking at the names every day because I, I have some people I still don't know if they're... Oh, man. Yeah. Getting a hit. Doesn't look like a pump. Not sure what it is. But we're close here. I really can't tell what this is coming in unless it popped off. It feels like it popped off. Yeah, it popped off. Man, it's got these clam, bright pink fish, fish bites, clam fish bites, but I want to cut it off and put the purple, the periwinkle, because there are a lot of purple shells here. I'm switching out some of these to the periwinkle clam, see what happens with that. We'll throw this back out close again and see. Hopefully we'll get on another fish before I have to leave. I just got hit a second ago. Hope it's still there. Hope it's a keeper. And it didn't just eat my bait. Oh, uh, it popped off. got it or not. Oh 
Oh yeah, I did. It's not what I would consider a keeper. We've got another tiny baby waiting. See what I tell you? I tried to use the, uh, he hammered that piece of periwinkle clam. Just want to get a, oh, so much for my picture. <laughs> I was going to try to get a picture of him. <laughs> He's like, nope. This is like the perfect breeze for that flag. You can, you can read it the whole time. It's not ripping it too hard. Fairly successful day considering that the conditions aren't the greatest, but I mean, got on a bunch of fish, a couple keepers. But if you got this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you watching all the way through the end. And as always, tight lines. God bless, and we'll see ya. around. I know you're there. I can smell your breath. All right, I'm just going to just going to get it cuz I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything since <laughs> Well, I didn't even eat breakfast. I ate a banana. Don't say it. I know bananas are supposed to be like bad luck, but that's a boat. That's on a boat. I'm not on a boat. We're on the beach. Bananas are okay on the beach. <laughs>